All right, guys. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for uh, tuning in. And today, get out of here, Roxy. Today we're talking about lithium and your mental health. Lithium deficiency is becoming more and more common. In fact, so far when I suspect that a patient might need supplementation with lithium and we run blood tests on the levels, I have not had one single patient come back with normal levels. Not sure what it is. Uh, in fact, most of them come back with non-detectable levels, which essentially means that you don't have any. Maybe I should just start testing everyone just in case. Um, I don't know. That's a discussion for another time. Anyway, so what is lithium? Lithium is actually a metal that our bodies need in order to perform some critical functions, most notably when it comes to mental health. For those that have heard of lithium, they generally think of batteries, such as in RC cars or something like that, or if they know somebody that's on lithium, they generally think of somebody that's been diagnosed with bipolar, but they aren't the only ones that can benefit from proper supplementation with lithium. Let me be clear, this is not something everyone should take. Lithium is only something you should take if you're being monitored by a trained physician regularly. You have to have healthy kidneys and healthy liver in order to take lithium supplements. High levels of lithium can be toxic. Patients in my practice that I test for lithium levels include anyone that has any degree of mental issues. Now this can be as simple and as small as something from slight anxiety to depression, OCD, sleep disturbances, even heart palpitations, adrenal fatigue, uh, or any other condition that might have a uh, mental aspect to it which when you think about it can be a lot of different things. There is that whole mind-body connection after all. There's a few different ways that lithium is thought to work by helping with mental disorders. Number one is by decreasing norepinephrine release, which is the ex excitatory or adrenaline hormone. Number two, by increasing release of serotonin, which is the neurotransmitter that makes us feel happy, relaxed, and self-confident. Serotonin also plays an important role in our sleep, sex drive, and digestive health, among other things. This is along the lines of how SSRIs work, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. They don't make more serotonin, they just make it hang out for a longer period of time, which, by the way, can have multiple detrimental long-term side effects, such as the increasing need for higher and higher dosages for it to be effective. The third way that it's thought to work is also by reducing excitatory dopamine and glutamate while at the same time increasing levels of inhibitory GABA, which gives us the calm, relaxed feeling. Another benefit of lithium is that it can help with your circadian rhythm or how you sleep. By increasing serotonin that we mentioned earlier, serotonin is converted to melatonin at night, which triggers our sleep cycle, and voila, we have sleep. Now there's some exciting studies that are being done regarding lithium use in Alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative diseases. So keep tuned in, sign up, sign up for our newsletter, send it to a friend. We try to do it about once a month and keep you updated on the latest uh, health and news trends that are evidence-based. Generally we can and should try to get most of our lithium from our foods, but sometimes it just doesn't or can't happen. Again, another video for another blog. But grains and veggies are the best sources. We also get some from our water, animal protein, dairy products, sugar cane, seaweed, uh, potatoes, lemons, eggs, and natural mineral water is also said to be a good source of lithium. There's multiple studies done on uh, lithium levels and lower incidence rates of uh, uh, suicide rates and depression in certain areas of the country that have naturally higher levels of lithium in their water. So what about lithium supplements? Do they use them in my practice? Absolutely. Should everyone take lithium supplements? Definitely not. In fact, lithium can and will be toxic at higher dosages. Many patients note when they first start on lithium supplements, it might make them feel a little bit off or loopy at first. We often have to start with really low doses and work our way up. This is the type of supplement that you have to be put on gradually and your levels need to be monitored. Too much of a good thing can be really bad. So until next time, be happy, be healthy.